Youth denies black man the opportunity to buy his dream car, then hands them a startling note. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. Owning a high-end vehicle has always been Michael Thompson's goal. To reach his objective, he put in years of extra effort, saved every penny, and made sacrifices. He had always loved sports vehicles with their svelte lines and potent engines, even as a small child. Now that he was a successful professional in his mid-40s, he could finally afford to purchase the automobile of his dreams. Michael arrived at the upscale vehicle dealership in the early morning light. As he got out of his little automobile and headed into the showroom, his pulse was thumping with anticipation. He could already picture himself driving and experiencing the engine's strength under him. The result of years of perseverance and hard effort was reached today. As Michael walked into the dealership, he was struck by the dazzling collection of luxury cars. The aroma of new automobile and glossy leather permeated the air. He fixed his gaze on the sporty black automobile that had been the object of his dreams for years. It had every feature he could ask for. A group of young salespeople standing nearby exchanged smirks and glances as he got closer to the automobile. Michael attempted to ignore the fact that he could feel their eyes on him. Nothing could spoil this moment. He was here to live out his dream. Michael extended his arm to touch the automobile, stroking its glossy exterior. One of the salesmen, a tall, blonde young guy called Brad, approached him with a patronizing smile while he was deep in concentration. Can I help you with something? With an air of insincerity, Brad asked. Michael gave me a kind grin. Sure. I would want to buy this automobile. Could you elaborate on it for me? Brad's eyebrows lifted in astonishment. This vehicle? Do you really think you can afford it? Anger shot through Michael, but he remained cool. Yes, without a doubt. This is the automobile I've been saving for a very long time. Brad looked over his shoulder at his co-workers, who were speaking to one another and snickering. With a look of apparent skepticism, he turned back to face Michael. Hey, friend, this automobile is more valuable than the majority of people's homes. Are you certain you're in the correct location? Michael was becoming impatient. I understand the price quite well. I've done my homework and am certain of my goals. Can we now talk about the purchase? Brad grinned more broadly. All right, if you so specify. I'll simply check your credit to see if you qualify. Anger and embarrassment mixed together to make Michael's heart race as Brad left to run the credit check. The other salesman's critical glances were piercing his determination as he could feel their gaze on him. Taking a deep breath, he reminded himself of his purpose for being there. He was determined to pursue his ambition and would not allow anyone to stop him. A few minutes later, Brad came back with a smug expression on his face and a piece of paper in his hand. Well, it appears that you are eligible for a loan. However, more documentation of your income will be required. I take it that you get it? To ensure that everything is in order. Michael clenched his jaw. My financial records are with me. I can present you with my pay stubs and bank statements. Brad glanced around at the other salespeople who were laughing freely now. Oh, I'm sure you have plenty of documents, but we need to be thorough with such a large purchase. Michael's angry fist trembled as he turned over the paperwork. Michael stood feeling ashamed and defeated as Brad grabbed them and turned to return to his desk. Behind him, he could hear the laughing and whispering getting louder. Brad reappeared after what seemed like an age, grinning triumphantly. It appears like everything is in order, but as you can see, there are a lot of individuals who are interested in this automobile. Do you really think this is the one you want? Michael was hearing things that he couldn't believe. Yes, I'm sure I want this car. Brad gave a theatrical sigh. Okay, if you really insist, let's begin with the papers. Michael followed Brad to his desk, bearing a great burden from the unfair treatment. While he was sitting, as he took a seat, he observed a framed picture of him and his co-workers all grinning and laughing on Brad's desk. It simply made him more enraged. Brad started to fill out the papers, and Michael's mind was racing. The overt prejudice he had come across had taken him by surprise. Despite his failure, he was determined not to allow these young guys to prevail. 
he made the decision that he had to make a statement that would cause them to second-guess their course of action. Brad gave Michael the last set of paperwork to sign, and Michael took a moment to gather himself. He took a little notebook and pen from his pocket. He signed the paperwork and hastily scrawled a message, folded it, and gave it to Brad. Perplexed, Brad glanced at the message. What's this? Michael fixed a steady stare on him. Just something for you to read later. After saying that, Michael got up and left the dealership, leaving the salespeople to chuckle and whisper to each other. He was saddened, but he was also quietly determined. Adversity was nothing new to him. He would overcome it this time. Brad unfurled the message later that evening when the dealership was closing. The other salespeople flocked around, wanting to see what was inside. The smirks on their cheeks gradually disappeared as Brad read the message out loud. The text of the note said, Ignorance is the mother of prejudice. Today I entered your dealership hoping to realize a lifetime ambition, but instead I was treated disrespectfully and with contempt. In my life, I have encountered several obstacles, but I have always overcome them. Even if what you did today was hurtful, I won't be put off. With this message, I aim to remind everyone that we are all human and that we should all be treated with decency and respect. When making an appearance-based judgment on someone, give it some thought. Michael Thompson. The salesmen looked at each other nervously as Michael's remarks began to register. When Brad understood how his actions affected others, he had a wave of remorse. They were all very affected by the message, which served as a sobering reminder of the bigotry they had shown. Michael got a call from the dealership the next day. It was the manager, who wanted to personally apologize after learning about the situation. He promised Michael that the salesman involved would be receiving sensitivity training and made a lower offer on the automobile. Michael took the apologies and turned down the invitation. He had already made the decision to move his company to a different location where he would receive the respect he was due. With a sense of finality and a fresh resolve to keep going after his goals, he hung up the phone. The dealership introduced additional training programs in the weeks that followed to make sure that every client, regardless of background, was treated with respect and decency. A change had been brought about by Michael's message, one that would help shield others from the bigotry he had encountered. After some time, Michael discovered his ideal vehicle at a different dealership, where he was greeted with warmth and shown the highest regard. He felt victorious as he drove his new automobile from the lot. His ability to overcome hardship and emerge stronger is evidence of his tenacity and willpower. While everything was going on, Brad and his co-workers attended extensive sensitivity training and learned the value of inclusion, equity, and diversity. They learned how to treat each consumer with the decency and respect they deserved by watching real-world circumstances. As the attitudes of the salesmen shifted, the culture of the dealership started to slowly but definitely alter as well. The management was determined to guarantee that the knowledge gained from Michael's ordeal was always retained. Every time Michael inserted the key into the ignition of his new automobile, he experienced the excitement of realizing his goal. The sporty black sports automobile served as a reminder of his capacity to overcome prejudice and misfortune, in addition to serving as a sign of his diligence and fortitude. Every drive served as evidence of his fortitude and tenacity. While driving through the town one day, Michael came into a well-known face at a stop sign. It was Brad, nodding and waving at him. Michael acknowledged the changes that had occurred with a little but meaningful gesture of return. The event had grown both men, but in different ways that were nonetheless significant. Though Michael's trip was far from finished, he was aware that he had had an impact. His message had ignited a shift that affected everyone involved, reaching beyond the dealership's doors. It served as a potent reminder that speaking up against injustice might result in progress even in the face of hardship. Michael experienced a deep feeling of calm as he comfortably drove through the metropolis. In the course of realizing his ambition, he made a tiny but significant contribution to improving the world. Michael was prepared to enjoy every second of the wide road ahead of him, with his ideal automobile and his steadfast spirit serving as his guides. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. 
a huge kiss, and see you in the next story.